welcome to bsc statistics students in this lesson i discuss uh, one particular result show that for a discrete distribution beta 2 is greater than 1 beta 2 is greater than 1 for this uh, first of all i consider to prove this uh, that i consider the formula of beta 2 what is formula of beta 2 mu 4 by mu 2 square the formula of beta 2 is b4 by mu 2 square you have to show that for a discrete distribution it is always greater than 1 for this uh, i consider beta 2 is greater than 1 the result which means uh, mu 4 by mu 2 square it is greater than 1 which means uh, mu 4 is always greater than mu 2 square okay now i write the formulas of a discrete distribution for a discrete values for discrete values the formula will be the usual formula in summation for discrete values the formula of mu 4 and mu 2 will be in the summation 1 by n summation i is equal to 1 to n f i into x i minus x bar whole square whole power 4 mu 2 is the formula for whole square and mu 4 is whole power 4 because which are two are the second and fourth moments and also moments about mean now i write the formulas hope you understand for this extent and i have considered beta 2 is greater than 1 to prove the beta 2 is greater than 1 i have considered this and for which I got this mu4 is greater than mu2 square okay so which means I have to prove this particular result and I consider mu4 is greater than mu2 square which is the formula for discrete distribution for discrete di distribution the formula of mu4 and mu2 I have I'm considering what is the formula of mu4 it is 1 by n summation i is equal to 1 to n f i into x i minus x bar whole power 4 that is the formula of mu 4 and it is greater than 1 by n summation i is equal to 1 to n f i into x i minus x bar whole square that is the formula of the mu 2 whole square this whole square do you understand this for different discrete values x1 x2 and so on xn this is the formula for frequency that is group frequency distribution for xi by fi i is equal to 1 to n we have this particular formula okay now i continue if you continue this if you want to continue this i consider as small assumption xi minus x bar whole square is equal to let it be zi so i have considered xi minus x bar whole square is equal to zi in which the result we have 1 by capital m summation i is equal to 1 to n fi into xi minus x bar whole square whole square whole power 4 so hence it is zi square x i minus x bar whole square is z i we have considered so therefore it is z i square it is greater than 1 by capital n summation i is equal to 1 to n f i into this is what z i x i minus x bar whole square i have considered z i so z i the whole square now you observe this formula 1 by n summation f i z i if you consider the formula for x i it is 1 by n summation f i x i is nothing but mean x bar so here the variable zi hence it is z bar so 1 by capital n summation i is equal to 1 to n f i into zi square is greater than z bar square z bar square okay i will take this particular term to the left hand side so that and then what you will get which implies 1 by capital N summation i is equal to 1 to n f i into z i square minus 
जेड बार स्क्वायर सो इट इज ग्रेटर दैन जीरो रिमेंबर दर आर टू पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मुलाज फॉर वेरियंस आई राइट हियर इन एक्स आई द टू फॉर्म टू पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मुलाज फॉर वेरियंस वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स आर सिग्मा स्क्वायर इट इज इक्वल एंड बी वन बाई एन समेन एफ ई इंटू एक्स ई माइनस एक्स बार होल स्क्वायर आर अनदर फॉर्मुला वन बै एन कैपिटल एन समेन ई इज इक्वल टू वन टू एन एफ ई इंटू एक्स ई स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स बार होल स्क्वायर दिस इज द अंदर फॉर्मुला If we consider the second formula, one by n summation f x i square minus x bar whole square. You see, it is also liquid with same for same formula. One by capital n summation f i into z i square minus z bar whole square. So this is variance of z. If this is variance of x, so I write here variance of x. If this is variance of x, I have written here variance of x sigma square x. If you if this is variance of x, one by n summation f x i square minus x bar whole square, then one by n summation f into z i square minus z bar z bar square is nothing but variance of z. So therefore, this is uh, this is what uh, the variance of z. Variance of z, or we can write as uh, sigma square z is greater than zero. If sigma sigma square sigma square z is always greater than zero. This is true. Therefore, beta two is greater than one is true. We have derived uh, this is from this is uh, this particular result from beta two is greater than one. I have considered beta two is greater than one, and at the end I got sigma square z is greater than zero. That is always true because the variance of a variable it is always greater than zero. It is always positive value uh, or non-negative value. We can specify. So therefore, it is always positive. Therefore, beta two is greater than one is always true. We have proved in this fashion that we have considered beta two is greater than one, and we have proved sigma square z is greater than zero. It is always true. Therefore, beta two is greater than one is always true. That is uh, for discrete distribution, beta two is always greater than one. Thank you.